It is cold. All right, so I've been getting quite a bit of comments where a lot of you guys' Teslas have been acting up the way ours used to do. I haven't done this video because I wanted to make sure everything is 100% fixed. In this case, it's been over three months and everything's back to how it was, no issues whatsoever. What was happening is every time I would shift the car in reverse, the backup camera would just be a black screen and then these side cameras would be just loading. They weren't showing anything. After that, we were getting a lot of issues with sentry mode. So we would get critical errors. The panic on the car would have gone on for no reason, sending us a notification. We would go and everything's fine with the car. So this would not exist whatsoever. You would not see this visualization. It would just show you a line that you're close to something. Two weeks after I let Tesla know on the app what's going on with the car, they came over to my house. I told them that this rear view mirror is uh, loose a little bit. I mean, even right now, it just, seems like see that part right there they thought that what was happening is because the rear view mirror was loose it ended up disconnecting some of the camera sensors so anytime let's say i would get in adjust the mirror for myself and then someone else would get in and adjust the mirrors for themselves it was disconnecting some of the contacts within the cameras or something like that they tightened this up we went over here into the service after that and then did the camera calibration and what this does is it just completely resets the camera so the car starts looking through the roads again just like the day you pick up your tesla for the first time the first couple drives everything was working fantastically not a single issue whatsoever visualization start working autopilot start working and then once i was trying to take an evening drive the autopilot completely stopped working again cameras were not working so back to how it was i contacted tesla let them know what's going on two weeks later they come once again and this time they replace the autopilot cameras that are behind this and that ended up fixing the issue for three months now i mean sometimes i can notice that the backup camera is has a little lag so when i'm reversing i have to be really careful because sometimes this lags a little bit that's also happening on our model 3. one of my favorite things about tesla guys you go on your app you let them know what's going on and then they come to your house and fix the problem so you don't have to drive somewhere else for them to look at the car unless it's such a major issue that you have to go to the service center but if it's just something like this minimal they come over to you to fix it and the good part is the car was drivable it wasn't like we couldn't drive it it just a lot of the safety stuff wasn't working and you know what a lot of cars on the road don't have backup cameras or anything so we just have to kind of drive the car like we don't have any of those safety features did i like that part no because what was happening is that on my long trips, I could not even use cruise control because Tesla does not have a regular cruise control. It has um, active aware kind of cruise control. So if the autopilot cameras don't see anything, you cannot use any cruise control. So you have to do the whole driving yourself. That's the one thing that I was definitely upset about because I could not even use a standard cruise control for the whole month. The only thing that they can improve on is, in my opinion, the time, because at first they told us the camera is the problem until they noticed the rear view mirror was loose. So they ordered it. We wait two weeks. They come in two weeks. They don't replace it because they think it's the mirror. I told them on the same day that this is happening and they just simply told me I have to wait pretty much another two weeks for another uh, appointment. That's one thing that I was a bit upset about because waiting a another two weeks having no autopilot even though you waited already two weeks for this camera system to come and then they didn't replace it that's what made this whole thing for me a bit unacceptable but thankfully tesla did take care of us they did fix the problem and uh you know what thank you tesla but please if we actually waited two weeks for a part to arrive and they came up and they didn't replace that part because they thought something else is the issue don't make us wait another two weeks for them to come and replace the part and then have no autopilot and all of our safety features turned off. So that being said, I hope this video was helpful. If you guys are facing this issue, it could be the front autopilot cameras. Uh, that being said, I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.